Hey everybody, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here with another Tinkercad tutorial to help you create and design the best pieces that you possibly can. And so, as more and more students continue to work in Tinkercad and various projects that we have going on, uh, one of the questions is how do I get the exact measurements and precise dimensions and things like that that I want? And so, um, here's just a couple really, really quick tips in a very short video that will make your life a lot easier. Um, what I've done here is just simply made a copy of the fidget spinner that I designed a little while ago um, to show you how I could resize and do some of these things. The very first thing um, is when you click on your design, well, let me group this here, I can, I have my outline of my box here and we've already learned how to adjust these up and down and left and right um, and when I go to click on any one of these white boxes I can see my dimensions and so when I click here I can see that it's 6.38 tall I can see that it's 71.12 across I can see that it's 65.65 down now these are in millimeters because in my grid that I'm using on my work plane I'm in millimeters and if that doesn't work for you you can go down here to inches and update this grid and you can see that all my numbers will change. So now I'm looking at a quarter of an inch. Here I'm looking at almost three inches and two and a half down here. So you can adjust and snap your grid to whatever measurement works best for you. And the numbers correspond to that. The other thing is if I wanted to stretch out this way, I could do that and I could stretch things out. I could go through and manually type in the numbers that I want. You know, if I want to make this two here, and if I want to make this down here also two, I can do that. The other thing that I watch kids do a lot of times is they want to make the whole thing grow naturally um, at the same rate. And so if you just simply hold down the shift key, while you drag this corner, it'll keep it all proportional. And then you can get it to the desired size that you need. That way you don't lose your circles, you don't lose your measurements that you developed before. The other tool that's, that's helpful is to use this ruler over here. So if you drag this down and plop it on your grid, you're going to be able to start to get some different measurements. Now I can see literally everything laid out with this ruler. Um, and what you can do with this is I can actually ungroup these pieces and I can get the exact measurements for everything for this one little piece. So I can see that it's an inch here, it's an inch here. Um, we're good to go here. I got try to figure this out. Boom, there it is. It's all good. And so I can go through now and I could edit these individual pieces. And it shows me everything, how much they're offset and moved and grooved and up and down and left and right. Um, as well as just the, the actual sizes. And so you can go in and, and do that as you go through and just see what's going on. Um, so those are just some really, really quick tips to help you make better designs with the tools that are right there on the screen. So a lot of times we just overlook. I hope you find that helpful. And if you have any questions, thoughts, other tips or tricks when it comes to dimensions and the ruler and things like that, please leave a comment. Thanks, guys.